In this video, I'm gonna show you this really awesome bouncing text effect. It's super easy, it's super quick, and I'm gonna show you how to do that right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. So once you've got Adobe Premiere Pro open, we can begin by creating a brand new title. So we'll go to File, New, Legacy Title. We'll press OK on this window. And inside of that title window, you just want to type out the first letter of the word that you want to animate. So I'm gonna use the word text, which means on this first title, I'm just gonna select T. We'll type out the letter T. And then we'll change the font, the weight, the size. We'll center this up. We can change the color if we like. But once you're happy with the look of the character, you want to select the character and hold Command C on your keyboard to copy this. Now we'll exit the title window, drag that title onto the timeline, and then we'll go and create a brand new title. So we'll go File, New, Alexi Title. This time we'll do the second character, so that's gonna be E. Make sure that's centered up and drag that onto the timeline next to the first letter. Now we'll keep repeating this process over and over again until we've spelt out the whole entire word that we want to animate. So obviously I'm doing text, so we need X and T. And as soon as you've completed all of these different text layers, you want to make sure they're all sitting on top of each other and you want to make sure they're the same duration in time as each other. So drag the second title up onto video layer two, the third onto video layer three, the fourth onto video layer four, and make sure they're all the same length. Now from here, we can go ahead and add some separation between these characters because they're currently on top of each other. So select the first title, go up into the motion tab on the left hand side of Premiere Pro, and we'll pull the position over to the left. And you want to do this process for all of your characters, make sure they all look really good and make sure the spacing is even between each character. Now, as soon as you've done that, we need to go ahead and create a brand new black video. So we'll go into new item, black video. We'll press okay on this. And then we'll drag the black video up onto video layer five or on top of all of the text that you have. Now from here, we'll go up to motion. We'll uncheck uniform scale and we'll decrease the scale height to one. Now we'll go into effects, search for tint, drop tint onto that black video and we'll map the black to a bright color. So I'm gonna use bright yellow in this example. And then we'll drag the position of this line down to the very bottom of our letters. So you want this to perfectly sit on the bottom of our word. Perfect, now we can go ahead and animate the text. This line will be deleted later on. We're just using this as reference for the animation. So we're gonna go ahead and select the first character. That's the first title layer. We'll make sure the player head is all the way at the very beginning. And then we'll create a brand new keyframe on position. Now we'll go four keyframes to the right to create a brand new keyframe. And we'll go another four keyframes and create a brand new keyframe. Now we'll go to that middle keyframe and we'll pull the position up just a little bit. And we'll go to the first and we'll pull the position down so that the character is underneath the yellow line. If this is a little bit too fast for you though, then you can just increase the gap between the keyframes or if it's too slow, then just decrease the gap between the keyframes. But from here, we'll go to opacity. We'll create a brand new rectangle mask. Now with your cursor hovering over the second keyframe, you want to make sure that the bottom of this mask sits on top of the yellow line. And then you want to extend the top of the mask up, making sure you get all of that character within the mask. So once you're happy with that, we'll create a brand new keyframe on the mask path. So we'll press the stopwatch icon. And then we'll scroll to the very beginning. We'll select mask one again, and we're gonna change the position of this mask. So we'll make sure that the bottom of the mask sits back on that yellow line. So we'll pull that up. And there we go. If we play this back, this looks really awesome. And this is the basics of the effect. So from here, I'm gonna select the motion and the opacity. We'll hold Command C to copy the motion and the opacity. Select the second title, so that is the E on my example. And making sure the cursor head is at the very beginning, we'll hold Command V to paste the motion and the mask onto the second title. And as you can see, the position has gone over on top of the T, but that's not to worry. Select all of the keyframes on position, go to the third keyframe, make sure the cursor head is directly on top of the third keyframe, and then we'll pull the position back over to the right. Now make note of that number of the position. So we have eight, two, three. Now we're gonna to go to our second keyframe and we're gonna change that value to eight, two, three. 
And then we'll also go back to our first keyframe and change that as well to 823. So now the T and the E pop up at the exact same time. So we're gonna go through that same process for X and T. So we'll paste that onto the title, move the position over, and then we'll do that for T as well. And now all we have to do to stagger this text on is move forward five keyframes, pull the second title over to the cursor, go ahead another five keyframes and pull the third over, and go across five more keyframes and pull the fourth text layer over. And now when we play this back, the T, E, X and T layers, they all animate on at slightly different times. So in order to completely sell this effect, we just need to get rid of that yellow video. So we can either delete this or we can just press the eyeball to hide this. And there you go, that is the pop-up bouncing text effect complete right inside of Adobe Premiere Pro. And there you go. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in that comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe, check out the previous video, and I will see you tomorrow for another brand new video. See you there.